What's up, family? Welcome to Ask the Mods. Where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. Today we're going to talk about the importance of touch in your relationship. Yeah. When was the last time you touched your spouse? <laughs> My exceptional wife, Fiona. Okay, and this is my sexy husband, Ayize. Welcome, y'all. Welcome to Ask the Ma'ats. Who are we? We are married. We are the Ma'ats, and what do we do? We answer your questions, we give our advice, we give our opinions, and we always keep it a hundred percent real. Real. All right, y'all. Today we're going to talk about something very important. If you want to maintain that closeness right yeah. that intimacy in your relationship is called touch time I mean a lot of us know that when little children come into the world right when small babies come into the world they have to be touched and if you have a child who hasn't been touched they grow up to become an adult who has some issues yeah. because they are fearful of touch they may not know how to you know have connections and so why do we think that when we become adults and we're in a relationship that that no longer exists my husband asked earlier when's the last time you touched yeah. It's important. So we're going to hit on three things that are, are, are very important things for you to consider when we talk about this thing called touch time. The first thing is just touch in the form of recognition. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that my wife mentioned is that we get away from touching one another as we become adults. But if you're in a relationship with somebody, it's important just to touch them and say, I see you. Mm. So for instance, I, I mean, see yeah, I see you. So for instance, it could be something as simple as like a pat on the butt. Do that again. <laughs> a grab on the butt. <laughs> just a touch. Just a touch. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or it could be something like when you're walking past, you know, just giving a nice, nice little, mm -hmm. you know, peck on the cheek. Just mm -hmm. a touch of recognition saying, baby, you know, I, I see you. I like when we're walking and we're somewhere, we're out, and I'm just walking. This is real small. My husband takes his hand and he puts it on the small of my back. Mm -hmm. And he's like, go ahead, babe. And he just, you know, gently pushes me through the door. Mm -hmm. That's a touch of recognition. Everybody knows, and I know, that mm -hmm. you know this is my man, right? Mm -hmm. Number two, a touch for some reassurance. Mm -hmm. Reassurance is important, yeah. because a lot of times we deal with so much in our relationships that we get, what, caught in the mundane, the routine, mm -hmm. the arguments, the stress, the contention, and so we have to be able to learn to do some reassuring through touch mm -hmm. throughout our relationships. So even though, you know, I've been, you know, getting on his last nerve and he getting on my last nerve, you know, we still have to touch to say, you know, I love you, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I do this to my husband. This is just our thing. And this, look, y'all gonna say, what is that? But I go like this, right? And he does that to me too. I just do this on his nose. And it just means I love you. Mm -hmm. It's just something that we never, oh, we never defined behind, it, but it just is. You know, if you get behind your spouse and you're just like holding them and stuff, mm -hmm. I mean, that right there is a touch of reassurance too. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so that's something that you want to make sure you do in your relationship. Mm -hmm. And the last thing that we want to say is a touch um, to revitalize the relationship. I like this one, y'all. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Why you this, like it so much? <laughs> this one, the position we're in right now gets into revitaliz revitalization. Okay. This, this can take us to revitalization. That's Why true. is revitalization important, honey? I think revitalization is important because in our relationships, like you mentioned a second ago, we get worn out. Mm -hmm. You know, we get worn out by the monotony. So mm -hmm. you need that boost. You need that energy. Mm -hmm. You need that intimacy that gives you that, you know, extra kick for your day. So, so, you need so, so, so a little something like, like this. You know, mm -hmm. somewhere you can just really pause stuff. for a minute. I know it's my lip gloss. He don't like when I do that. We, we demonstrate. We demonstrate. But when you can pause to really take a minute to give each other energy, mm -hmm. you know, th that's a different kind of touch. That's that kiss. That's that really getting close. Mm -hmm. That's that getting busy. You understand? Because mm -hmm. when you can have some good sex, it can revitalize and, and, and release some things that you ain't even know was there. That's true. Can I get an amen? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, it is so. Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all. We hope this has been helpful to you today. Go out and touch. Now, if you're not in a relationship. Don't just touch anybody. Yeah, don't touch anybody, right? Touch, touch the one you love. And if you're not in a relationship, mm -hmm. take this into your, your mental notebook, okay? Mm -hmm. And put this down as an important thing because oftentimes we look up and we say, Dang. I hadn't even been touched. Yeah. You ain't even look at me. Mm -hmm. You you won't even have to worry about that if you remember the importance of touch. Make sure, make sure that you what? Recognize. Recognize and make sure that you 
reassure, and make sure that you revitalize through the awesome power of touch. As always, stop playing, start pushing. Been such a long time, I forgot that I was fine.